So I've been trying on a lot of these at-home glasses and trying to make a decision is not always easy, but this little pamphlet that they put in the box is pretty helpful. And they had this little guide that said, do these fit me. So we're gonna get into that in a minute, but I just wanna make sure you know there's a one year guarantee. Um, they also have fun things like crossword puzzles inside their little pamphlet that they include. And every time you buy a pair of glasses, somebody else gets one, so that's cool. Crossword puzzle. And they have a virtual try-on tool, which I really wish I could use. I have an iPhone 6S, no fair. In my last sunglasses video, which I'll link, I learned that you can use a stylist, and that's part of the reason I'm making this, because I went ahead and tried out the function, and I emailed the team, and I sent them pictures of me wearing the glasses, and they said they would get back to me. Um, but I wasn't sure how long that was going to take, so... I decided to do a couple of things on social media and of course the first step in figuring out which glasses you want to buy when you live alone with just a dog who gives you no opinion is to take several pictures of you wearing the glasses so that you can post them and share them or text them to people. So uh, once you're done with that, what I'm going to actually show you is this photo of the Warby Parker does this frame fit me guide and while I was reading it I noticed one of the things it says you want to make sure your eyebrows are above the frame uh, you want to make sure your lenses are your pupils are in the center of the frame you also want to make sure that when you smile the frames don't raise on your face so this is why I'm taking another set of pictures because I didn't know this thing about when you smile, the frame shouldn't move, which makes sense. Uh, one of the other tips they give you is to make sure the frames don't exceed the sides of your head. And last but not least, that they are comfortable and that you feel good in them and confident in them. And I'm just a picky, picky girl, so I've just been having a really hard time making this decision. So, like I said, I decided to post it on social media, and I used Instagram. And you're gonna see right here what my story looked like that day. Uh, the interesting thing to me is that I've never tried the polls or any of those functions and so I was kind of playing around with that. Uh, but what I did was I tried to show people a picture or a video, I mean, um, of me wearing the glasses front on and the side and then I tried to add in the smile. I tried to be organized and label them with what option they were seeing. So you're literally seeing uh, what the story looked like right now. Those are the Raider frames, which I kind of liked, but honestly, I think I would go with the actual Ray-Bans if I was going to get aviators. Uh, there's a whole video about this, which I will link in the cards here. Um, I did an actual video on the sunglasses, and I know this is sort of a bizarro video, but... I just, I think that this process of getting help and choosing your glasses is so key and cool. And I was really excited about the Warby Parker stylist option that you can email them and say, hey, I need a stylist and send them pictures or videos and that somebody will email you back. So at the very, towards the end of this video, I'm going to show you what they emailed me back. But I just wanted to give you a feel of how I actually showed the options to people. So that's that. Um, this is the final option, option six. And then I basically asked people which one they would buy. So they sent me numbers. And then I learned you can do like a yes or no button, which was way more effective. And the responses, when you get the results of that, it's just way more clear which ones uh, were winners and which ones weren't because you're going to see what happened. I posted these. I went to bed. Um, and then the next day I checked the results, which I'm going to show you in a second. Um, but I tried a bunch of other functions. Anyway, this, this function in Instagram, the poll yes or no, is very helpful. I noticed that because I started getting answers like these, that they liked them all. So I waited till the next morning and I checked the results. Good morning. The results are in. <laughs> not very helpful. I guess we have a tie between one, three, 
and four. Now it's important to know they can all come in different colors. So this is a tough one, guys. Okay, so <laughs> update. I don't know how to use polls. So um, I just figured out that this is the new poll. So we've got one in the lead. And then we've got a tie between two, four, and six. So this is confusing. Um, what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to post some all six again with the hair down. Uh, thank you, guys. And hopefully uh, with more information about the color change, we can really hone in on a winner because this still looks pretty even. Good morning. Mm, I really appreciate you guys' help with this. It's kind of a hard decision. So anyway, here we go. Uh, round two. Let's really look at what's the best shape because the colors I can change. Also totally open to your recommendations on colors. Uh, feedback I've gotten so far includes going with a brown. I like, um, kind of like the pattern in number one, but I don't know, again. Anyway, so I'm going to do little videos for each pair of glasses. And at the end, I'm going to have you type in which one you like the best because it's easiest to calculate the results like that. Okay, thanks guys. So the other benefit of retaking the photos was that I actually uh, took photos of me wearing sunglasses in the sun. <laughs> Brilliant, right? One other quick thing, because some of you guys were asking, they still do only do um, five pairs in their try at home kit. I happened to buy one and I'm just not sure if I love it. So I just thought I would get some feedback from people. And if you haven't done Warby Parker, I'll show you, I'll quickly turn my camera around and just show you what it looks like. It's kind of fun and I'm losing my mind because I'm off because it's the summer and I live alone with a dog. So this is entertaining me for two days. So good stuff. That's the box. And look at how my garden's doing. I have dill. These are morning glories. I have tons of green onions that I literally just, uh, just bought them at the grocery store, chopped them, and stuck them in the ground. Basil, which I grew from seed. I have parsley, cilantro. And then these huge things are my cucumbers. And they're all inside of weird. This is an old milk jug. Um, I have lavender here. No. I finally got the results back in from the at home stylist email and they suggested three pairs to me. It did take a while to get their response so that was kind of disappointing um, especially because they disagree with my pick. Anyway this is what they sent. So the tallies were from the open-ended questions and people DMing me but then I realized you could go back and just look at the results which were totally different and um, happened to agree with the ones that I ended up keeping, which are these ones, and they are the Lita.